All right, welcome back, guys. Um, I believe this is part eight of the uh, Mor Mobius. Mobius. I keep saying Morbius. Mobius. Morbius was a robot, wasn't he? I don't know. Uh, part eight of the Mobius Battlestar Galactica, the new one that just came out this year. Um, got a lot to show you this video, so I got to make this short and sweet. Past couple nights I've been getting on some of these forums. Now I don't belong to a forum. I don't, I'm not registered with anybody or anything. But I get on there and I look and I, I see what's going on. Read a few things. And I uh, was on one last night and uh, one of the guys was building this model. And another guy wrote in that he was having problems. He broke apart. Uh, it was somewhere down he, uh, the port landing bay or something. I don't know what it was he broke. But if you remember in a, in a video or two ago, I was telling you how I had some of these parts going together. And they, and I was afraid I was going to break them because you just had to uh, get in there and force them in. Uh, one guy did write in um, them little pins. Uh, these little things here. Those little pins that why not you know take and and cut them short these little things okay now not particularly on this part here but on some of the parts where I was having troubles with and uh, he said why not just cut them down cut them short uh, that probably would work I will tell you this uh, I haven't glued none of those little pins together after that one experience with that center bay uh, they, they fit together real snug, so I didn't see no use in gluing them. It was more or less just a guide to get the two parts to line up right because you've got so many other parts all around the edge of it and, and places on, on either the nose section, the middle section, or the rear section that hold that thing together. I see no need to, to glue those pins together to begin with. So uh, with all that being said, uh, let's get into what I got to show you. I got a lot to tell you. I, I found a problem with the photo itch. Uh, oh, uh, and I got on the phone, I'm not sure what the guy's name, I didn't ask what the guy's name was when I talked to him, but he remedied the situation real fast, and uh, the problem I had, he was unaware of it, it caught him by surprise, and the next day I was back on his website, and I noticed it's back ordered again the uh, photo etch for um, this Mobius build so I don't know if he pulled all the stock or or what he's redoing it uh, I wouldn't have done that I would have just added in another little baggy the part that you would need but uh, that's gonna be the first thing we talk about so let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what what happened with this photo etch all right now this guy from Paragraphics probably gonna have a fit that I'm, I'm filming this but I, I gotta let some of you guys know in case you bought any of this. Let me turn the camera around again so I can see you seeing me. Okay. Uh, where was I at? But um, if anybody has already bought this and hasn't used it yet, I, give him a call. He straightened it right out for me. But uh, there's definitely a problem here. There are some of these little round pieces here there it is there are some of these little round pieces here they look like uh, roof vents and let me get this up here for you okay I still got one on there let me point to it still got one of them on there right there now according to the directions you should have seven of those, okay? Well, there's only five. And I looked and looked and looked. There's only five. Now, another thing he does with this photo etch, let me see. You, you, get, you get like doubles of everything. You get two bridges up here. There was two, two sections of bridge. Uh, two of these, two of these. There's a lot of doubles on here okay in the smaller pieces now over here there was two number tens 
And to me, they looked identical to the one I was short. I mean, I couldn't, my human eye couldn't tell them apart. So I substituted these two for two of those. <coughs> okay. Now you only needed one of those, and he gave you two. But the problem was, if you combine the five and the two, that's seven. But then you need one of them. So you really need eight pieces between both of them, and you're still short. So I gave the guy a call. He said, man, I can't believe I've done that. So he uh, is sending out the other part to me. I, hopefully I get it today in the mail. So uh, watch that photo etch. If you got this set, I don't know if he's retooling it or what. But if you got this particular set, there's only five of these. One, two, three, four, and five. And you need seven. Now, another problem I saw, and I told him about this. Um, on the back page, this is the, uh, this is the back page right here. On the back page, on the bottom, right here on his landing base, you can see that he's got that mark number nine and number nine. But when you look at the picture of the photo etch, that is not number nine. That is number 11. So I brought that to his attention. So I don't know if he's redoing everything or what. But number nine and number nine is not number nine. According to the pictures of the photo etch, it's actually number 11. Number nine over here is a comp uh, round, small round disc. This is a round disc with a little piece on the edge of it. So, <clears throat> if you, uh, like I said, if you happen to buy this photo edge, it's nice. It, I mean, I, what I've been using, there's not a lot to go on the ship, really. You know, most of what you see there being used is, is from the uh, landing base, you know. There's, there's really not very much at all that goes on this ship. I don't know what you can do to this ship with so much uh, detail on it. All right, speaking of landing bays, let me get those out for you. Let me put this over here out of the way. All right. Now, here's what the landing bay looks like off of the sheet, okay? Now, I was going for the color here. <clears throat> this uh, this blue shade right there, trying to match that. All right, because I had an idea. Well, what can I do? Can I paint the shuttle bay white and light it with blue lights, or should I paint the shuttle bay blue and light it with white lights? So that's the way I went. Since I've got all these little white lights, okay, I decided to paint the shuttle bay blue. All right, so there she is. Paint it blue. Now it might look a little funky, but I tell you what, it worked out great. And here's what I used. Uh, went over to the hobby store, got me a can of Tamiya or Tamiya TS10. All right, and it's a shame because all you you buy this can and that's all you're going to spray. But I tell you what. Uh, what I've done was I took some 400 grit sandpaper, sanded down that piece of photo etch, took this outside and hit it two, maybe three times, I don't remember. And I'll tell you what, that's better than the finish on my car. So, I got this one, I just wanted to show you it. I haven't folded it up yet, but I do have one folded up and in place. And when you get done folding them, here's what they look like. All right. Right there. Now, let me explain to you. Wasn't sure there was going to be enough room in there for lighting, okay? But there was. Here is the top of the shuttle bay. And I've got one of them strips of lights in there to shine down on this. So it lights up these little holes here and the ones in the back and it does cast some light down on the side. And why am I worried about the light on the side? Well, they got these little, I believe that's the launch tubes. 
for their little space rockets or whatever you want to call them. I believe that's the launch tubes. And they've got a set of them here kind of in perspective. So when you look in there, they look like they go way back in there. So I wanted to light them up, but I didn't want them white. So what I done was, and you're probably going to laugh at this, is I took a little piece of paper off my pad. I took my pad here. Cut me a little strip off of there. Uh, about as wide as the side of the shuttle bay. And I colored it with a red pencil. Or I should say red pen. It's a red pen really. And I colored that piece of paper red on one side. And I wrapped it around to cover up all these little openings here okay now this this is kind of crazy but I took that piece of paper painted or colored it red put it on there and took some scotch tape plain old scotch tape and taped it on there okay now you notice there's a little notch here in the top of this shuttle bay there's one on the other one on the other side you have to be very careful of that because there's a piece right up here in the top of this show it's probably not showing up but there's a piece there that will fit down inside there and if you're not careful you get them backwards you'll bend it up all right so this just drops right down in there and the reason I use that paper there's there's that's about all the room you have got right here on the side that paper and that scotch tape fit filled that up and there and I don't think you're, you're not going to get any plastic in there or anything it's so tight all right now I'll put this together in a minute but there was just enough room there to get that lighting a strip of lighting above this <coughs> so I can light it up I did notice one thing I wanted to bring one of the lights out so it would be over this uh, this entrance bay and I believe it's too bright so I'm, I'm gonna see if I can't put a piece of something to diffuse the light up here on the on the front but uh, I'll get that together here in just a second, and, uh, and I'll show you where I'm at. All right. So that's it for the photo etch. Uh, let me turn this off, set this up, and then we'll get to the rest of the ship. All right, I got this together. And uh, I don't have nothing light blocked yet. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh... But I did notice, looking at it, and only got to go back to about halfway to light block it, but I'll do the whole thing. But uh, i was just doing some test lighting, so I don't have nothing light blocked. But I'm going to try and bring this up to you here, to the camera, and uh, show you what this looks like. Well, let me close the shades. Let me turn out this light. Ah, I forgot to hook it up. That would help. I'll give you some light here. There's my positive. And there she goes off the table. I'm sorry about the darkness there. But at least you're still seeing something. It ain't like the other day when everything was black. Okay, there's my negative. Let me turn my little box on. Crank it up. I've been running everything around 9 volts test lighting and I left the lights on the ship on for about a day at 9 volts. Alright, let me walk around here and bring this over to you. Oh, I just barely make it. Alright, i got to hold. I don't want these two wires touching. Let me turn the camera around. Hold on so I can see what I'm seeing. You see how much i got a light block there? Alright. See that? That's looking down in there. And see that red over there? That's where them launch tube bays are. But you can see towards the entrance there, it's a little too bright for me. I want to think I might dull that down. But that's pretty sharp, man. You can see way back in there. That's that photo etch. It gives the perspective the way he made it that you're looking all the way down the tube. All right. So there's that. Okay, let me shut this down 
get back over here and reset everything. Okay, here's where I'm at with the ship. I've got the uh, nose piece all primer. Now I notice a lot of guys kind of refer to this as the alligator head or something. That ain't no alligator head. To me that's a python. That is a snake head. Looks just like a python's head. Flat and wide. Okay, now I don't like snakes. Alright, so here's where we're at. Now listen, I put this primer on here and let me tell you something. The detail on this ship just came alive. It really did. It, it popped out. Uh, you're sitting here and you're looking at these white parts all day. And you really, you, you see the detail, but you, it doesn't really pop out at you. But let me tell you, when I primered this thing, if I can pick it up here for you, put that coat of primer on there, boy, did that come alive. It really did. It really popped everything out, especially all the, the little lines uh, and stuff in there. Looks really nice. I man, I about flipped out. I said, "Gosh, look at that!" Well, I didn't say "gosh." All right. So I got the back section here, the uh, center section, I should say, the hull section. Let me get these wires. They're coming apart. Um, I got it lighted up, or I should say, lit up. English wasn't one of my better traits in school. I think that's all of them wired together. Alright, <clears throat> so that's why I'm kind of being careful with this here. I got all these wires here running together and once again I'm out of frame. I try to zoom in so you guys can see something and the next thing I know I'm out of frame. Alright, so here's the uh, center section. And what I did was I glued two strips of styrene in here and then I epoxied them in there after they set up and I put my a strip of lights on it this way facing to the side and another strip over here facing that way so I got that all wired up also have my front or I should say the top and bottom of the engine section is all uh, light blocked so I'll be starting on that next <clears throat> getting them engine lights in there so here we go let's get this lit up now listen I you know reading them forums and uh, watching some of these other guys do these builds there seems to be a big uh, uh, I don't know what I want to call it but nobody is happy with the bridge okay the original bridge that came with the ship and I must say that is probably the weakest part of the model is that bridge let me get this turned around so I don't screw nothing up here um, a lot of guys are uh, somebody has made one I guess and they're waiting for it to be put into production so they can get their hands on it you know there there's so much other detail going on here that is mine <clears throat> that is my homemade one it is nowhere near what the original bridge looked like uh, I did finally get some screenshots of this thing last night and was looking at them and uh, let me tell you I you know unless you're a super super die hard rivet counter uh, crazy about detail you know and it's gonna drive you nuts and you're gonna lose sleep over it <laughs> go get it I you know but like I said I made my own I kind of put a couple little doodads on it got my holes in it 99.9% .9 of the people that look at this ain't gonna know that that didn't come with the model so take the time build your own if you're not happy with the original uh, you can get a pretty nice look I probably could have done a little more to it I didn't but it looks nice I'm satisfied with it and that's all that counts so let me turn some lights out again and I'll show you where I'm at Got to close the blinds. All right, let me turn uh, this light out over here. There we go. Now this one. Okay. <clears throat> let 
me show you the back section here first. If you can see, well, I wish I could turn it upside down. There we go, ever so carefully so I don't short nothing out. Uh, I don't know if you're seeing it or not. Let me. Can you see some of the lights on the side? Uh, you know, like once again, you got some light blocking to do right down in here. Uh, I'll get inside there with some of that black uh, tulip, and then once I paint it, it should all go away. I've got a series of lights here, here, and here, and then the same way on the other side. Now, the two sides here, this side and this side, they are not symmetrical, they are not the same. So, you can get a series of lights over here, these six, I think it is. You can get them six lights there, but there's nowhere on the other side to put them. So the, the both sides are different. All right, here's the top. And this is going to show up back here. Let me cover this up and block some of that. There we go. Now here's the head. And I would like to get this closer for you without tearing everything up and shorting everything out. Okay. And there's the bottom. Like I said, I've I looked at 70 pictures last night of this ship in high resolution screenshots. I didn't see none of the bottom of the ship here. And if you really wanted to go crazy and uh Put all the little holes, the little windows where they're absolutely supposed to be. Uh, you can get on that website. I believe it was called Buy, Buy Your Command was the name of the website. I think it was. Don't quote me on that, but uh, they got a bunch of uh, high resolution screenshots. <clears throat> basically show where all the windows are supposed to be. Um, but I don't think there's any two models out there are the same. They got, you drill your holes, like I said, just about wherever you want. So I'm satisfied with it. I think it looks nice. Now a lot of them look pretty bright. They look pretty big. But once I get this uh, 560 formula in there and tone them down, uh, they won't be twinkling and they won't look as big. So... I think that's pretty much where we're at. Next part, I'm, I think I'm going to work on this other landing bay here. Get the other one in there. Get these light blocked. Get these done. And then I can basically have the whole center section done. And then it's just a matter. I don't think that rear section lighting it up is going to be too difficult. So that's it for today. I don't know how long this is. I'm probably going to have to edit it. Put in some stuff. Oh, I, I do want to tell you this. Uh, when I went to primer this, okay, because I had been handling this model so much, test fitting and putting things together, when I got it all glued up, and once again, those pins, okay, I did not glue them. I just used them as an alignment tool. Got this all glued up, <clears throat> got it sealed up, and I took rubbing alcohol, okay, this is 70% uh, rubbing alcohol. Took a paper towel, I sh I could, you could use a cotton shirt, whatever, and wipe the whole thing down to get rid of any fingerprints, any oils or anything I might have left with my fingers. Wiped it all down real good, and then <clears throat> used this Model Master Gray Primer. And I'll tell you what, that, that laid down so good, I mean, I... Years in the body shop business, I died for a coat of primer like that. All right, so that's where we're at. But that's the way to go. Use that alcohol. When you get ready to paint something, just go ahead and grab that alcohol, wipe everything down real good. It evaporates so fast, it won't hurt the plastic. All right, see you in the next one.